Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to Factory Fun, the series in which you tell me which robots to try from the community factory, and I do so to the very best of my ability, giving my honest first impression, and of course, rating the bot out of five in both style and combat. In today's episode, we are having a look at Tarantula, a great looking spider like hover with nine top tier SMG guns, triforced, light, and well shielded. And the first thing that comes to mind upon seeing this robot is, wow, this thing looks absolutely fantastic. A lot of cosmetics have gone into this, and a lot of thought for general placement. It looks really, really nice. Now, at the moment, this has had quite a few sales. Normally, when I do these, they don't tend to have more than 10. Well, actually, rarely do they even have 10 sales. So this time, we can have a look at the style and combat as the users have already rated it. A 4 for style and a 3 for combat. But of course, we are not going to be biased. We are going to have a look at how the bot actually handles and then judge it for ourselves. It is, of course, using lasers, which have recently been heavily buffed, or at least heavily changed, since the recent patch. So they should be pretty darn good. They are actually going above the maximum fire rate at the moment, which I believe is either 4 or 5 for the disintegrators. So let's have a quick look-see after we purchase the robot to see if that's actually the case. Inventory and hardware, and the top laser disintegrator, which has a max fire rate of 4 guns. So yet way, way ahead of the max fire rate. I think this is going to just do pretty well. I think it's going to be a bit frail. I don't think I'm going to doubt that for a second, but I think in Team Deathmatch, as long as we're not stupid with it, which of course I would never be, it should be relatively good. So let's go straight into a Team Deathmatch, then after that have a quick go of an elimination, unless the Team Deathmatch doesn't last very long, in which case we'll just do two Team Deathmatches, or something like that, plans and all that. Here we go then, in the first battle using the Tarantula. Let's see how we do. One thing I have just now noticed, and I mean this as just now, we are in fact using the Carbon 6 thrusters, so this is going to be quite an expensive bot for anyone to purchase. It does feel quite responsive though, and I suddenly wish I was using cursor controls, or mouse controls, whatever you want to call it. I will be changing that after this battle. Hello! Good! My shots are invisible! Now I'm sneakier because of this. Wow, we took that volley really well. Sadly, there is a rail lot, however, on our tail, so let's just move out there. Bit of a suicide movement, but we either had the rail and the flyer, or these two. Hey, we held up pretty well. I'm okay with that, honestly. A lot of plasma against us, so we just barrel through it, honestly. And once again, the bug is currently happening on my Robocraft, where the audio from the weapons simply isn't happening. Quite a few people are currently getting this bug. I will try and resolve it again for the next episode, but it's pretty much out of my control at this stage. Can I get that weapon off him? Ah. Again, curse controls would have helped out a lot there. I was twisting slowly by mistake. That's right. Is he still shooting missiles? No, someone else is. I was going to say, how on earth is he still shooting missiles then when his missile launcher is just knocked off? Lots of little miss, uh, lo lots of little plasma, I should say, on his front there. Yep, so far taking damage exceedingly well, and the new lasers do feel so much better than the old laser disintegrators to use. Just make sure he can't heal up, and back off a little bit, he's going to do a full plasma volley to get up. Aim is... Larger plasma, got one of them off, and our friend got the other one off, now he's only got smaller variants. Making it very easy for him to hit us here, and apparently we can't shoot directly underneath us very easily, so we do have to bear that in mind for the future. There he goes. I'm out of there, going to back off. So I don't want to die too much. Oh no, we do have the audio for the weapons, it's just incredibly quiet. Which is weird, because it's currently on maximum. I even checked before this recording, hoping it would be fixed by now, apparently not. Yeah, I'm liking this hopper so far. I'm really liking it. Very, very easy to use, and the laser placement seems pretty good. Kind of suiciding a bit here, but even so, just trying to get his weapons off those two little arm segments. Okay, it's a one plasma shot, not too much. Okay, focus on this guy, because our Tesseract is focusing on him as well. And then he's healed up, so let's see if we can get him from the skies. Just keep moving around, since they have a big cluster of them all over there. That flyer is very frail, thankfully. Ooh, he does have a flag. Hello! <laughs> I was just speaking about you. 
I know your healings, this is pointless, but look at that lovely CPU damage we're doing. Absolutely delicious. It's nice now we can see our lasers again. Hello! One arm gun. Other arm gun. All we need is one laser shot and their arms break, which is really, really nice. Either he was missing there or he was aiming at someone I didn't see. Uh oh, we're in a bad position now. Let's just move out. Okay, let's go and heal. We don't want to stay in this fight and Haha! <laughs> exactly 69% health. It was destiny, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, if you want to cut me on your own, I mean, I'm fine with that. We've shown for a few times we can kill you one-on-one. -on -one. Trying to get his weapons. He's gone for a lot of redundancies weapons. Trying to get them all off is pretty hard, but we're doing a good job here. There we go, just one left, and there's all of his weapons gone. That's the power of lasers, sir and sir. It's the power of lasers is, of course, it's very easy to knock off weapons of the enemy targets. Heal up. I am really happy with this one. This is definitely one I'm going to be keeping permanently in my garage. Of course, now we can keep 100. I am trying to keep all of the ones I'm using in factory fun anyway, but even so. Hello! Just keep on moving around. No need to be in the middle there. Now we can fight him since the other guy is hopefully going the other way. Would be lovely. Weapon redundancy! Yes, thank you very much, creator of this robot, for that. There's a gift that keeps on giving. Oh, stop him healing. There he goes. And the missiles will finish him off. Excellent. Just taking plasma without a care. I think this guy may have gave up. Yeah. Can we half him? No, we can't. Wow, these weapons drain power so fast now. And we got first play. Six kills, seven assists, 8.5 thousand damage. Pretty nice, honestly. That was a very, very pleasant first experience. And I have very few complaints, actually. I, I need to think of some. Normally I complain at this stage. I'll be taking those. Okay, now I'm complaining. I got a terrible crate. Ugh, it's all the robot's fault. So tarantula. Um, although you don't really look very arachnid-like, I must say, you do look sodding gorgeous, so you're getting a 5. You look as good as I would want a hover to look. In terms of combat, the only thing I would say, and this is a very small thing, is turning is a little bit slow. I think that, again, it would have been better with mouse controls, cursor controls, but even so, I'm going to... Uh, somewhere between, between three, 3 and 4. Sorry, I mean 4 and 5 rather, not 3 and 4. I can do the numbers well, because Lathrix is of the smarty. Um, I'm actually going to say 5, 4, 5. It's really close. I did feel a little bit frail. As much as I kept on saying, look how well we're taking damage. When we took damage to the sides, I saw limbs of this robot, well, sections of it, simply fly off. So although there is apparently triforcing, some elements are a bit vulnerable, which, which could even be caused by the triforcing. So I do feel a bit wrong giving it a 5, but I'm going to give it a solid 4.5. If we could do that, I would. But of course, because it hasn't gone past the threshold to earning 5, it's a 4.5. Like, even if it was a 4.9, I'll give it a 4, because I don't do rounding, it simply goes past, past thresholds. So, 4 stars for that, very close to 5 though, really nice butt to use overall. But I do want to do one thing so I can be maximum flashiness. Oops, today I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Yeah, mirror mode on this account still isn't, um, still isn't bound to M. Annoyingly, an error message just popped up, so the mouse came into the recording, so I had to cut a little bit there. Either way, all I was doing was adding these weapons, the Carbon 6 variant of the lasers. Look at that maximum blingage. So let's have a quick look-see, just to make sure they're actually in the right place. The main ones I was a little bit concerned about is just that one there. Quick look-see, yeah, that's in the right place, and this one is on the little mount piece there, which is there as... Ooh! There's two mount pieces. I think I'm on the right one. Let's have another quick look-see. Maybe I should have been paying a little bit more attention. That is something I really should do sometimes. Yep, it's on the one closest to the hover. Okay. He likes his cosmetics! Definitely likes his cosmetics. All this is from the same guy, I believe, since I searched his username rather than the robot's name itself. So, with that, let's play another team deathmatch. I was going to play Elimination, but I feel like this is a bot which will do better in team deathmatch, maybe in Battle Arena, but maybe not so much in Elimination, where speed isn't as valued. Well, at least, not as much as in team deathmatch. It's still valued. 
And here we go again, and yes, being Lathrix, I did forget to change the controls yet again, so we are still using the keyboard steering. Which isn't too bad, since at least I've had more experience with this, but I still believe that this would do better with the control, uh, the cursor controls, the mouse controls, when you control it using the mouse, not the keyboard, that thing. Okay, no flyers on our team this time. Two mechs, one walker, and one tank, I want to say? Yes, tank, okay. It's either a cruiser or a tank, as can tell which. There was shots coming from there. I'm going around, see if we can perhaps pick off a straggler. Hello, straggler! You have Tesla! Ow! As <laughs> I was just ramming into you, that's fine. That was probably the worst experience of me just ramming into a Tesla I've ever done. Just, oh look, he has Tesla! I even say he has Tesla before ramming into him. Wow, well, the entire team's just camping there, okay. That's bad for them, since I'm not gonna, going to go into that area then, and just pick on the ones who can't go there. Like the poor Tesla fellow, who honestly deserved that kill. Saying that, why didn't you use that shotgun? Uh oh, he's going this way. I thought I'd spotted him then. Didn't think he'd wear off that quickly. Hello! Hey, he's using a shotgun. Now it's gone. Don't care about the plasma hitting us, just want this kill. That's all that's important in Team Deathmatcher. There we go. Excuse me. The fire can stay alive for now. Did he survive or did he die, the flyer? We're still on two kills, I'm assuming he survived. There he is! Increased projectile speed! Even I can get a few hits of lasers now. Take that! This is gonna fall on there and heal, sadly, but at least we did a bit of damage, got some points, hopefully getting our score a little bit higher. There goes his shotgun, so now he's a little bit less scary. Did he just blink directly forward? That was a bizarre use of blink. No! Don't be a medic! You fool! Don't play smart! Play dumb! Let me get the win here! Uh, this was dumb. This was very, very dumb. Well, I, I ended up being the one who played dumb, but even so. No! It was an ambush! Ha ha ha! I am clever! I am of the clevers! I am smart! <laughs> no! Damn it, flyer! <laughs> You win this time, Flyer. Or do you? That's a good question. Can someone please get this guy out of the air? That would be glorious. There we go. He won last time, I won this time. Everyone's happy in the world. To be fair, I did hold up pretty well against two people for an extended period of time. Ow. There goes his shotgun, not that he was actually using it, didn't so. Go for his lasers, there goes two of them, there goes the rest, go for his rails, and he is disarmed. See, that time, that was a better use of blink. Last time we just blinked directly forward, like about two centimeters, it was bizarre. Also, we're kind of on one side at the moment. Lasers drain so much power now, come on. There we go, finally. When you have full power, lasers feel fantastic. When you're low on power, they feel dreadful. Oh, look at him trying to be the sneaky, sneaky assassin. Ow. Aha! I fell into the wall to lure him into a full sense of security. Lure was the word I'm looking for there, not lure. Is lure a real word? I mean, lure is a coding thing. Just lure on its own, however. Other than the name. need to stop just holding down fire. I'm so used to using the lower level lasers now, which just don't drain your power. At least before the patch, anyway. Can you please stop hitting me? Okay, let's heal up now. We could help fight. Spot him. Spot him. Darn it, there's a friend in here as well. Every time I go in here, I get outnumbered. I mean, you'd think I'd learn. I'm trying to call him ow, out. Call him out. See? Oh, I'm clever, I'm making it funny actually, that's all that happened there. Yeah, he's gonna get the kill here, let's just keep on focusing on that centre which has been de-shielded. That's a really weird flyer in terms of movement. I'm not sure if it's genius or badly put together. I'm thinking genius honestly, it's quite clever at having small manoeuvres. So I think it's purposeful, not a mistake. The 
greatest genius is the genius which is so close to being just terrible, but actually works well. Ooh, hello. There's a flyer up there. Can you tell by the plasma? I see the shadow. But they can't see it. There is. <laughs> there is, and that's spotted for us. Thankfully, he missed most of that volley, so we did more damage to him than he did to us. Sadly, he did spot us, though, so he knows we're coming back out. Oh, no, he didn't, because he wasn't focusing on us. Oh, we did a load of damage to him there. Something broke off. I don't know what broke off, but something did. Just keep moving backwards and forwards in a strafey, weirdy, wibbly wobbly fashion. Hopefully, we can avoid most of that plasma. Now, if he stops up there, he's going to heal, so I'm hoping. No, he didn't fall off, darn it. Lacks the burst damage lasers do to finish off flyers, I find. They're definitely a lot better against flyers than they used to be, but still lacking. Don't take a shotgun, I'm being hit by something else. Don't know what, only a little bit of damage. Okay, it's that guy. Hello! Take a shotgun, there it goes. Then just keep peppering him. Where's the flyer? There it is. Way too focused right now. Come on, let's just get this kill. Or at least get him back out of the air again. Darn it, now a rail after me. Can I, have a sh can I have a little bit of a break, please? Now there's a laser after me. Come on! I'm prettier than you. <laughs> you don't get to win. No, I, did, I do think he gets to win. Far too much. I've got plasma in my face, rails, lasers. On the upside, it seems like he's going to die, so it's only a one for one. Am I the only one actually focusing on the plane, just bombarding us this whole time? And of course, something else is fighting me. You are annoying me. Every time I tried to focus on something else, you were hitting me from somewhere. And now I'm being hit from behind again. You... No, you don't fucking blink off from me, mate. Excuse me, mate. You having a giggle? You having a laugh, mate? I swear on my mum. Knock you out, mate. Sorry, I'm my mum. Bye bye. No need to focus on his shotgun since he's not using it. He seems to be out of power, so let's just keep on attacking. We have more redundancy than he does. His design is very flawed. There we go. We get the win. Okay. Oh, for the love of the dark ones. Take a shotgun if I can. No need. Okay, okay. Not gonna focus. Actually, we should just fire backwards. One of the benefits of using keyboard, and then that sodding flyer. My lord, he's doing so well for his team. This flyer is the reason the enemy team is having a chance at the moment. Where'd he go? You! You! Come here, little friend. Or you, I not Getting kills is more important, there we are. There we are, and... Oh, there's one there, okay, there's a little sneaky one there. And there we go, disarmed his lasers at least. Maybe he should have focused on him. Oh, that plasma's gonna kill me again, the flyer's gonna get the kill, but it's okay, at least we disarmed this guy. Don't know where the flyer is. Can one of you please focus on the flyer? You're flack! Why haven't you been focusing on the sighting flyer? <laughs> you would have been so helpful earlier. Darn it, I was hoping one wasn't getting hit then. I was healing, but now I'm not. I need to back off a little bit. Too easy to spot. He's going for me. Excellent, we got the heal. We only need one more kill, so there's no point in trying to chase him down when this guy has just came to us. Hello, friend! I get what he's trying to do. He's trying to look, to, look, to look like an axe. He's trying to be a Tesla axe. So I do commend him for that, but it does mean he's got a very vulnerable section in the middle. There we are. And even if we didn't have our score doubled, it seems like we would have got first place. Wow, that was a lot closer than the last one. I got a little bit salty during the middle there. Ahem. How do you do that? How do you get those few seconds of firing? Is it the time when you press OK? Do you then get a chance to start firing? Because I still haven't figured that out. Either way, here we are. Okay, and in the premium slot we get... Yeah, nothing too special. 
Either way then, I think my final verdict of this bot is it's a lot of fun to use. There are only some minor things I would change, which I'm not even going to mention because how minor they are. Um, it looks really nice and it's just a pleasure to use. I do hope, however, that the creator perhaps uploads a less expensive version, but with so many cosmetics, I don't even know if this is actually possible really to upload and still show the shape of the thing, unless he uploads both and then goes, look at the other one for design ideas for to how to place the cosmetics and stuff. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video and would like to see your robot shown in a future episode of Factory Fun, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. And that was the wrong outro, because I'm very tired. What I was meant to say was, if you would like to see a future robot, Robot. <laughs> robot in a future episode of Factory Fun, then please leave in the comment section below your username, the robot's name, what weapons the robot uses, and the CPU of the robot, in addition to anything else you think is pertinent, like the movement type and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be your robot, but it is nice when it is a user's creation. I believe this is one of the robots that was not the commenter's robot, I believe it's someone else's. I will accept that as well, but I do prefer robots when it's actually theirs. So, thank you again for watching, and that was one of the most messed up outros I've done in a while. Thank you, and goodbye.